Okay. I'm gonna lower the volume because last time the volume was way too loud. Okay, and now I'm going to see what happens. No, don't do it. Ah. Okay, so I guess we'll start here. Hi, I'm Fate Touched, and we're going to play a hidden object game that I believe I do not own yet. So we're going to play the second Hidden Mysteries game until I run out of time, which will probably be about 40 minutes. Um, and this one is Buckingham Palace. I started playing it, but I thought you guys might enjoy it because it's kind of it's kind of archaic. It's back from uh, 2008, so that's quite some time ago. And I still think the background music is too loud. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. There we go. Because the background music isn't that great anyways. And I don't think there's any voice acting in this. So this game, um, I played the first part of the first one until I ran out of time, and that was on the Civil War. And it has um, little story bits, and then it has basic, um, basic little find it puzzles. It's 2008, so it's not really that advanced, but it is a lot of fun, which is why I'm going to show it to you. I, I've kind of found that the older games tend to be a little bit more creative since they didn't have as much to work with. So let's see what happens. Relaxed mode. I do not like being not relaxed. Okay, here we go. Act one. Welcome to Buckingham Palace, an adventure that peels back the curtains on one of the grandest buildings in the Western world. Built in 1703 for the Duke of Buckingham, John Sheffield, Buckingham Palace was consistently renovated and enlarged over much of the remainder of the century by the architects John Nash and Edward Bloor. It was purchased in 1761 by King George III for his wife, Queen Charlotte, to use as a family residence. It became the official royal palace in 1837, serving as both home and office for subsequent titular heads of states. Buckingham Palace has over 750 rooms, 800 staff members, and over 80,000 800,000 square feet of space. Okay, there we go. So we're going to start, where should we start? Let's start at the arch. The Admiralty Arch is a large office building in London, which incorporates an archway providing road and pedestrian access between the Mall and Trafalgar Square. It was designed by Sir Ashton Webb and completed in 1912. The building was commissioned by King Edward VII in memory of his mother, Queen Victoria. It was named Admiralty Arch because it adjoined the old Admiralty building. And I would just like to point out that I got that as being the number seven without even looking twice. And that's impressive because I'm dyslexic. And Roman numerals are terrible. Okay, so. Basic find it puzzle. Got the list over here, got the items over here. Uh, and uh, yeah, if you have trouble finding something, that's fine. Okay, so let's see what we can find. Beakers, electric switch, domino, and handcuff. I need about three things at the time before I forget what I'm looking for. Milkshake palette stethoscope. Oh, I saw the stethoscope, didn't I? Yeah, there it is. Uh, milkshake palette hot dog. Milkshake palette. I assume they mean like a painter's palette. There's a milkshake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Shush. Okay. Milkshake. Oh, there's a painter's palette. Oh, and a hot dog. I did not see it. Oh, there's a hot dog. All right. Key, stiletto shoe, hammer, and binoculars. There's a shoe. I'm gonna call that a stiletto. Um, binoculars. Oh, a key too. There's a key. Hammer. 
I need to make sure I am looking where the pointer is or in the general vicinity of, or you're going to have no idea where I'm looking. Here's the hammer. Staple remover watering can harmonica. I know I saw the harmonica in the staple. There's harmonica. And a watering can. Okay. Congratulations, you found all the hidden objects in this location. Yay! Okay, now I guess we're at the Victoria Memorial. The Victoria Memorial was built in 1911 in honor of Queen Victoria. All who had... Wait. Was built in honor of Queen Victoria, who had died 10 years earlier. Wow. See what I mean about being dyslexic? My reading comprehension skills have just plummeted. Let's start over. The Victoria Memorial was built in 1911 in honor of Queen Victoria, who had died 10 years earlier. Victoria's reign lasted over 63 years, making her the longest reigning British monarch to date. The monument was erected as part of the massive renovations occurring to the palace facade that same year. Okay. So, let's see what we got here. I've already done these two levels. That is not... Oh, it's an item. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like a feather. A large bronze feather that was until recently in the hand of the Victoria statue at the Victoria Memorial. Specialty items you may find may be added to your inventory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Is this supposed to be like... I Obviously, it's not British. Is this supposed to be like an image of Victoria or like angels mourning her loss. Oh no, okay. There is Victoria down here on it. Cause like, I would think she probably would want to be wearing a shirt as well. All right, uh, letter X, fork and chef's hat. Letter, let's just scroll. There's a letter. Aha, to whom it may concern. Love is a fickle thing. It makes one do things they might otherwise abhor. I write this letter to clear my conscience, to air once and for all the knowledge of a long-held secret, lest my treachery damn me. There are treasures here, and greater treasures still, for the one who finds them. Begin 800 meters east-northeast of the palace entrance, to find the passage and all others Find the passage and all others will click into place. A.M. I like how the font in this letter, the number is really tiny. <laughs> okay, so we have to find a secret passage. That much I knew. I think I got to that part and then I stopped. Oh, I've forgotten all the other things I need to look for. X fork, chef's hat, airplane. There's the airplane. Oh, there's a chef's hat. So, X Fork Claw Trophy. X Fork Claw. I saw a claw. Someone in my house is knocking. Hang on. Someone knocking? Okay, Some, the someone who is knocking is not at my door. They are knocking somewhere else for no reason. Kel Supri. All right. I mean, they're all supposed to be asleep except my husband. Ooh, there's a trophy. But the likelihood of that being a thing is zero. It's like 10.30 here. My children go to bed, go to bed at, um, at 9. And uh, obviously not asleep if they're knocking on walls slash floors for no reason. Bottle. Oh, not the right kind of bottle. I hear more knocking. Whoever it is is going to have to come find me because I am not going to go find them. Chinese checkers. We used to have a really cool game of Chinese checkers when um, we were younger. A uh, computer game. And each color was... Um, was a different animal. There was a dragon and a phoenix, and oh, I don't remember what the other ones were. It was oh, there's the X. Um. Oh, okay. Apparently that's an item. Bronze letter X. It appears to have mounting brackets on the back. 
at any rate, it was animated, so you would move the little balls and they would jump, and um, then like the animals would do different things. It was really fun. It was a really well-designed board game. Um, here's the claw. Uh, for a computer game at the time. I don't remember what it was called. It was probably freeware. Or shareware. My dad had a lot of shareware. Admiralty Arch. The letter indicated that there was an undiscovered secret passage of some sort to be found here. It seems doubtful. The letter is probably just a prank, but perhaps a quick look around is in order. Just in case. Okay. So now I get to use my items in the quarry. You go up here. Aha! Another letter! King Edward decried from a trench at Versailles how the valiant who fought in the something died. What is this? Oh! Okay, well, the last. And I remember doing this now. I remember it faster. The war had died. Okay. King Edward decried from a trench at Versailles how the valiant who fought in the war died. The queen mastered chess. She was oft heard to cry as the end game approached blank blank I probably. Probably of. It's not gonna be I, I. Oh, Victor. I'm only getting this this fast because I already did this puzzle and I still don't remember what it said. The Queen Master Chess, she was oft heard to cry as the end game approached a Victor, I. Very weird cadence for poems. In the seat I remain and with sadness commit that while joy may stand up, Something, something spit. Okay. Last bit is sit. And there is a one letter there, so it's probably I sit. That while joy may stand up, something, something I sit. Once again, I've done this puzzle before. <laughs> that was like a week ago, or maybe two weeks ago. As. Grim. Yep, okay. As grim I sit. In the seat I remain and with sadness commit that while joy may stand up, as grim I sit. It doesn't seem like they have enough, um, Syllables in those poems. Ah, open gate. The nose. This is where I decided, now I remember, that I was going to stream this. I had no idea this was a thing, and I'm still not convinced it is. So, the nose. So it really does exist. There is a there is very little information on public record about Admiralty Arch's famous nose, but the prevailing theory is it was placed there to honor the Duke of Wellington. It is at eye level if you're on horseback, leading many to believe mounted soldiers rubbed it for good luck whenever riding through the archway. That is the silliest thing! Why is that a thing? That's just goofy. And there it is, the nose. Oh, and right. So this is where I uh, figured out that what I need to do is tickle the nose with the feather. Yeah, I know. Be quiet. I was talking to my non-existent audience. And it sneezed. Ooh, and what's that? The Princess Peridot. A lime green jewel was lodged between the door and the wall. It's beautiful. Could this be the treasure AM's letter mentioned? I mean, a treasure. Whoever wrote that letter was telling the truth, at least about the passage. Who knows where it may lead? Ha ha. So now, 
for you to see. Um, which one should we go to? I didn't do any of these. Let's go to the secret passage, I guess. Since that's where we're technically supposed to be in the plot. It looks like this passage was built hundreds of years ago. It isn't feasible to believe that it was built without the owners knowing, but it's certainly possible that its presence might have been forgotten through the centuries. Yeah, that also seems unlikely, but probably. Okay. <clears throat> Here we go. Letter, crutch, axe, pretzel. Letter, no. Crutch, here's pretzel. Axe. Here's the letter. If you found this letter, you have found the passage, and I am one step closer to being absolved of my own culpability. It occurs to me that in spite of what you have witnessed so far, you may have some lingering doubts as to the veracity of my claims. Let me dismiss them utterly by presenting you with the Sire Emerald, Crack on, A.M. Where is it in this box? Oh, I bet I have to... Oh, I don't have anything in that box. I have the little emerald in the corner. Huh. All right, well, at any rate, uh, let's see. Crutch, axe, paper bag, scrub brush, and mushroom. Paper bag, mushroom, this corn dog, rub brush, scrub brush, toad, bagel, binoculars, rubber chicken. Rubber chicken. Rubber chickens are silly. What? Why do rubber chickens even begin to exist? There's a toad. That's a frog. Uh, let's see. Binoculars. Uh, binoculars right in the middle of the floor. Starfish, collar, centipede. I saw the collar. Is that the collar? Centipede. I do not like bugs particularly. Mostly, yeah, that, that was not a good bug. That's a bad bug. Not that bugs are necessarily bad. They sort of are. I am okay with bugs as long as they stay in their natural habitat, which is anywhere I can't see or feel them. Unless they're outside, and then I just don't want to feel them. I don't mind seeing them. Where is the axe? Oh, there it is. Congratulations, you found all the hidden objects. Okay. Chinese Chippendale. Oh, like a wardrobe. Oh, it's a room. Chinese Chippendale room. Several rooms in Buckingham Palace possess a Chinese theme. This came about due to the large amount of oriental furniture brought over from the Prince, Regent, Prince Regent's Royal Pavilion, which had a decidedly Eastern theme. This is a good time to point out that if there is anything uh, racist or any of the other ists in this game, I apologize. Uh, it is an older game, and I'm just reading what they wrote. So, just so you know. And, you know, the whole thing of England taking all of the stuff from other countries that belongs to them, and yeah, you know, that kind of stuff. Oh, that's a lipstick. I wonder what that was. All right, so back to game. Vial of glue, key, bow, postage stamp. Vial of glue, key. It's a syringe. Glue. Postage stamp. Hmm. Is that glue? It looks like glue. Oh, it's an item. It seems like the items that you actually use in this game are not nearly as realistic looking as the items that you find in this game. Alright, let's see. Bow, sliced limes, snowshoes, peach. Peaches. It's peach season in at the eastern United States, and I got some that my mom bought at the orchard recently. They were so good! have to get out this year and actually get some fruit picked. Because there's lots of orchards near to us. We're in New Jersey. And New Jersey is the garden state, even though most people who don't live in New Jersey don't think of it like that. What am I looking for? A rubber duck. I was looking for a rubber chicken and I- oh, because chicken's running. UI. 
Um, I don't know if you might have guessed this, but I also have ADHD, which means I'm probably switching topics way faster than a normal human. Congratulations! Okay. And the Royal Muse is where the state horse and cars are housed. State horses and cars are housed. These include the magnificent Golden State coach used for the for coronations and those carriages used for royal and state occasions. Huh, I never knew what a muse was. I mean, not like M-U-S-E. The, the other one. Uh, let's see. A shoeing hammer, riding crop, lance, and accordion. I kind of like these older games because they have like completely random stuff in them. Um, as opposed to the newer ones where it kind of has to make sense. Oh, there's a riding crop with a small loop of leather on the end, or at the end. And we need that too? That looks fake. I shouldn't be jumping ahead though. One of the things that's interesting with this kind is that there's stuff that's here that isn't on the list yet. Which means you just can't click stuff at random because, yeah, that might be something that I need in the future, but it's not on the list yet, so I can't click it. Or even if I click it, it's not going to do anything. Where's that lance? You'd think it would be. This is. That's an arrow, though, isn't it? A lance. That was more like a spear. Alright, shoeing hammer, cutting board, baseball bat, pan flute. I just saw the flute. That was, oh, that was the comb. There's the pan flute. Oh, a cutting board, too. Oh, that's a fly swatter. That's a pallet. Hmm. I saw it. What else is here? Baseball bat, hairbrush, onion. Oh, I saw the hairbrush. Ah, I just saw it. No! There it is. Onion leaf, fly swatter. Aha. Pallet. Aha. Knight. You're not a knight. You're just a statue. Oh, there's the knight. A leaf. A leaf, an onion, and a baseball bat. I saw the baseball bat like eight times. How did I not find that? Oh, there's a cutting board. I'm pointing right at it. Uh, and I'm looking for a shoeing hammer and an onion. Shoeing hammer. I bet that's that. Yep. It looks kind of like a ball peen hammer. It's a hammer used to affix horseshoes. It's rather, it's rather delicate as far as hammers go. Okay. Something I would think, unless they're gonna like have it break or something, so I can't use it more than once. That onion. And this is the part of the game where all of you watching at home are screaming, It's right there! While I wander around aimlessly looking for it and not finding it. Oh, the microphone. I'm finding that cup. That's supposed to be a cell phone? Oh my gosh, it's like an old Nokia. I miss my Nokia. There's the onion. See? You guys were all screaming about that, weren't you? Okay. If this passage was built by the same person that stole the jewels, perhaps there's something here worth finding. That seems very unlikely somehow. This is what I want, right? Like, don't I want to... Oh, maybe put glue here? Glue and... Huh. Don't I want this green jewel to go in there? Hmm. How do I do that? That's all the documents. Use the items in your inventory to solve the puzzle. Look for special places in the scene where your cursor changes color. Use items on the objects in the scene or combine them with other items. I know. Shush. Choosh. I want to use that item. Hmm. <coughs> that totally looks like I should take this gem and put it in there, right guys? Like, that's a thing, huh? I'm not entirely sure why it's not doing that. Um... Ah. Huh. I can't double click on it. I can't pull it. Not actually. Maybe taking this out? Mm -hmm. 
is there something else I'm missing in this scene? There wasn't anything else I'm missing here, right? Hmm. So, um... System. You will find special items. These items can be viewed at any time. This is to use in solving inventory puzzles. <coughs> Excuse me. Hmm. Is there anything about the gems in here? In the area would like to use it. You can also combine inventory items. Only certain items can be combined, though. Ha! Huh. Okay, well, that's super unhelpful. Alright, so let's try using that. Uh, no, I thought if I used this on. Oh, wow, look at that. The hammer goes right over it. Um. Well, this might be much shorter than I think it is, or I thought it was going to be. So, like, this, right there. Yeah, that, it's blinking purple. I need to put the gem there, except the gem is stuck in the corner of my menu. Which is slightly unhelpful. What if I do that? Okay. That would work either. Huh. I have to look up a cheat guide for this. Fairly frustrating. Alright, we're gonna have to look up a cheat code, guys, because uh, this does not seem to be a thing. Honest. Ah, okay. There's a crack in the wall. Looks natural enough. There's something in it. Whatever it is, it's just out of reach. Okay, so this must be the gem I'm looking for. It's not. It's a rock. Okay. See, if this is like a puzzle thing, how is somebody going to put a gem inside a geode and have it be the exact size I need it to be? It's very pretty, though. Amethyst. Can I go over here like that? Oh, look, it magically changed into a gem. Aha! The Sire Emerald. This must be the Sire Emerald A.M. spoke of. It's beautiful. If it's real, it must be worth a fortune. What a cut beard in your neck. Huh. Alright. <clears throat> Let's see. Conventional wisdom dis dictates that when Oliver Cromwell seized power in 1653, one of the first things he did was destroy the crown jewels. An invaluable octet of gemstones. That story must have been apocryphal. This emerald certainly appears authentic, and if A.M. knows his stuff, there should be six more like it. Why would you destroy the crown jewels? Seems like a bad idea. Unless, like, you cut them up into smaller jewels, which also doesn't seem like a bad idea. Okay, let's do a new one. Let's do the Queen's Gallery. <clears throat> the Queen's Gallery at Buckingham Palace is a permanent space dedicated to changing exhibits of items from the Royal Collection, the wide-ranging collection of art and treasures held in trust by the Queen for the nation. Constructed 40 years ago on the west front of Buckingham, yeah, Buckingham Palace, out of the bomb-damaged ruins of the former private chapel, the gallery has recently been redeveloped. Recently in 2008, I guess. Which is a lot longer ago than I want to think about, really. Okay, so let's see. False teeth, harpoon, toothbrush, and palette. False teeth. Palette. Ooh, a palette. Uh, an old mouse. 
or new mouse. I guess they're, that's not that old. There's the teeth. A harpoon would be long. It's going to be a toothbrush. Toothbrush, hairbrush, big blue ball. Don't mind me. I'm easily distracted. See, that looks like a harpoon. That's what that lance they were talking about. Toothbrush, sock, typewriter, meat. I saw it. I saw it. Sock. A dolphin. Ah, uh, no, killer whale. Uh, basketball. I forgot what I'm looking for already. Meep. Oh, I found the mouse. There we go. Billiard balls right in the middle. Cutting board. Why are there cutting boards in so many rooms? Megaphone. Bills. Uh, Cooler. Eight ball. I think I saw that. I don't remember where. So what do we got left? Toothbrush. Oh. That's one of the items. Toothbrush, typewriter, water bottle, eight ball. Typewriter, water bottle, there's the eight ball. Oh, water bottle as in giant one. And the typewriter. Congratulations. Uh, let's do, why don't we do the Admiralty, Admiralty Arch. Oh, it's different stuff. Admiralty Arch features a quintet of arches leading to the wide panoramic thoroughfare known as the Mall. The two outermost arches are for pedestrian traffic. Of the three vehicular arches, only two are open for general use. The centermost pass passage is revert. Wow, I can't read. The centermost passage is reserved for ceremonial occasions. There we go. Interesting. Oh, and so this is the walkthrough and this is the drive-through. I guess you can't see the nose then since that's on the drive-through. Uh, okay. Lighter. Mushroom. Oh. A refillable metal lighter. It appears to be in working order and there's even a little fuel remaining. Okay. Mushroom pocket watch caterpillar pretzel. Mushroom watch oh. mushroom. Caterpillar. Oh pocket watch. Actually I thought that was a compass at first. Oh there's a lizard. Oh I thought I saw a shrimp. There it is. Uh staple remover here. Egg arrow magnifying glass. Eggy. Uh, dental mirror, top hat, banana. Oh, there's a dental mirror. Top hat and two teapots. Nope, that's a watering can. Teapot. Well, those are two different types of teapots. One is the metal one. Is the ceramic. I am not big on tea. <clears throat> Which probably playing an English game is illegal. Is this the cane? No. Oh, there's the cane. I'm actually very boring when it comes to drinks in general. I mostly just drink water. There's a caterpillar. Like, not for any particular reason. I just like water. Ah, uh, where's the arrow? I remember even seeing it. Oh, there it is. It's disguised as actual scenery. Congratulations! Alright, I guess we'll do the front gate and then the kitchen. Front gate. These gilded gates served, serve as more than decoration. They are the first line of palace defense. On either side of the gates are the... <clears throat> excuse me. Are the alcoves of the yeoman warders, known colloquial... Mm, Colloquially, that is not how you pronounce that. I can totally pronounce that. It's just not happening right now. Known as beef eaters. Standing guard day and night. That's where they do the changing of the guard, which is cool. Not that I've seen it in person. It looks pretty cool on TV. Oh, there's another ladder. There it is. Let's see what this one says. Sir Messenger, Sergeant Fellows. 
Okay. Oh wait, senior messenger, Sergeant Fellows, maybe? I agree with your assessment and subsequent reprimand. Your accusation, which I reputed at the time, was in fact accurate. I did not adhere to the security protocol when transporting the AM letter to the analysis department of Scotland Yard. And as a result, the letter was lost. My personal inclination that AM is nothing more than a prankster is not a valid excuse for any such breach. I understand this is my first warning and upon receipt of three warnings with any eight or within within any 18 month period I'm subject to probation and possible further disciplinary action yours humbly humbly messenger yeoman stark zoom in a lot of like just random mail laying all over the place oh look an old flip phone <laughs> I never had a flip phone. I always just had the the Nokia brick. All right, let's see. Otoscope, pirate hat, gem, and roller skates. Is that the gem? Otoscope, pirate hat, roller skates. Oh, I thought this was an item, but that looks like it's part of the actual architecture. That's the word I was looking for before. Architecture. That. Oh, that's a watch. Bar. E. Tree. There's a tree. Is this it? Oh, okay. I thought there was actually a tree planted there. Actually, I don't think there's any shrubbery in the front of Buckingham Palace, is there? Because then it's like easier for them to see if people are trying to sneak in. Boring looking. But I guess, uh, they know better than I do. It's their building. Let's see. Okay. Otoscope, pirate hat, basketball, faucet, panda. Eat a bunny. Oh, there's panda. Let's see. What else? Is that a disc? Why is it clear? Weird. <clears throat> and a top hat. And a police helmet. Sunday hat. Area. I'm not paying a lot of attention, so I'm like, oh, bunny, that's one of my things. Of dog bone. Dog bone I saw. Crocodile skull. Or alligator skull. No. Okay, otoscope, pirate hat, basketball, faucet, sock. Basketball should be easy. There's the sock. I knew I saw the sock. Okay, I have not seen the otoscope at all. Pirate hat, I haven't seen either. Faucet. There's the faucet. Ooh, look, a fox. Oh, there's a pirate hat. Now, where is the otoscope? For those that don't know, an otoscope is that thing that doctors use to look in your nose and ears. There it is. I learned that from Doc McStuffins. Congratulations! Doc McStuffins is not And I love it. Shush. Okay. More than 50,000 people visit the palace each year as the Queen's guests at banquets, lunches, dinners, receptions, and garden parties. The Buckingham Palace kitchen is able to serve a sit-down meal to as many as 600 people at a time. That's a lot of people. That would be fun, wouldn't it? You think they all sit at one table? Probably not. It's probably more like a wood ceremony where they got the big round tables. Cool. Kitchen, or kitchen, kitchen knife, mug, bone, muffler. Kitchen knife. I'm not looking for the kitchen. The kitchen is what we are standing in. I have to look where I'm pointing, or you don't know where I'm looking. I don't remember any of the things I was looking for. I don't see a knife anywhere though. Mug, bone. Is there a mug on one of the other tables? This is just before, um, oh, that's a cup, no. oh, there's a mug. This is just before placement of items started to become, uh, more 
normal, not normal, um, realistic, I think is the word I'm looking for, in these games. Because right now, like, there's a cheese grater on the ceiling. <clears throat> in real life, there would be no cheese graters on the ceiling, probably, unless you go to Cracker Barrel. Um, but some of the stuff, if you look, is like on real tables and things, like where they might be, or like on the wall hanging up where they might be. And, um, this is right around where they started being a little bit more, uh, again, realistic with stuff. Not completely, because none of them are completely, because that's not fun, because then you know where stuff is, because you look and find it. It has to be a little bit sneaky. Anyways, but, candelabra. What, unless this is it. Just like. Edie. I kind of. The difference between these older games and the newer ones, obviously, there's lots of differences. But, um. It's fun to play the older ones, at least the well made ones, and like see the difference between. Like, see how far they've come, I guess. Um, there's a candelabra right in front of me. <laughs> Is that the muffler? No. That's... Are we looking? Oh, there's the muffler. See, look, that looks like a muffler, doesn't it? I still didn't find the kitchen knife. That was the thing that came out first. Oh no! I will never find the kitchen knife now! Okay, so, um, I guess we're done playing that game, because I ran out of time. And I'm probably going to buy these. They, they're the older ones, so they don't even have the, um, they don't even have collector's editions. They're, they're old enough that they just are there by themselves. So they're, I think it's like six ninety nine for games that are the, um, the older ones that aren't the collector's editions. So I'll probably end up buying those and then doing another stream because, I don't know, I like them. They're, they're quirky. And you know what? They take longer than the newer games because it, not just because it's harder to find stuff, but because there's more involved. You have reading or there's more involved plot or um, stuff like that. So at any rate, I am fate touched and I guess I will see you all later. Bye.